welcome to App on Board Studio Training. In this tutorial, you will learn how to make a simple match three game with swipe functionality. This is a playthrough of the unit we will create. Let's get started. Before starting this training, be sure to download the AO Beach storyboard and assets in the link below. After logging in, you will see the create new project window. Enter your project name first. Then choose your orientation. This project will be in the portrait orientation. Then select the destination folder for your project. Please note that all assets will also be copied to this location. Now click get started. Welcome to the workspace. The first thing we're gonna do is add our assets. On the bottom left corner, click add assets. Locate the assets from your computer Select all and click open. Once your assets are added, you have the ability of organizing the assets by name, type, or size. Now let's create our scenes. Notice that there's a default scene already created. Rename the scene by double clicking the name. Let's retitle it intro video. Let's now create all the scenes for our project. The next scene is going to be called Loop 1. Following with Action 1. And our last scene is called End Card. Next, let's review the properties. Highlight the intro video and click the Properties tab. Make sure first scene is checked. Now let's add the assets to our scenes. On the bottom left, we'll locate the intro video.mp4 and drag and drop it to our canvas view. Now let's add our audio assets. First we're going to add the intro sound.mp3 and then we'll also add our background music. Since this is background music, by default it will already be selected to loop. Now let's add a transition from this scene. Click the plus sign next to transitions on the left, and then click the drop down menu next to move to scene and select loop one. Now let's add the assets to the next scene. Select loop one on the top right, and then navigate back to the assets column and drag and drop the loop one MP4 to your canvas view. This scene should be looping until the user clicks their action. On the top left, click play video and make sure to check the box for looping. This scene also needs a gesture element. Click the elements tab and drag and drop the gesture area to the scene. You can easily drag and adjust your gesture area so that it covers the appropriate section. On the right side of our workspace, we can adjust the properties of our gesture. First, let's title it Swipe Up. Next, let's select the type of interaction by selecting the Add Gesture to Area dropdown and navigate to the Swipe Up. Below, choose what happens after the interaction is completed. Click the To Scene dropdown and select Action 1. Next, let's add the assets to Action 1. Navigate to your Assets column and drag Action 1 MP4 to your Canvas view. Let's also drag and drop the sound effect for this action to the Canvas view. On the bottom middle of your Canvas view, you have some playback options. You can review your audio and video to make sure it looks right. Once this video is completed, it should move to the end card. So let's add a transition. On the left, hit the plus sign next to transition. After action one, it should move to scene end card. Click the drop down next to move to scene. Now let's move to end card. Let's drag and drop our asset for the end card. Since this is a looping video, 
let's go ahead and set it to looping. Click play video on the top left and check the box for looping. We would also like the music to stop once we get to this scene, so let's add an action to your end card. Click the add an action drop down, select stop background music, and select the asset that should be stopped after this action. Now let's review our project by clicking the path view on the top middle of your screen to make sure that all the scenes navigate appropriately. You've now completed your simple Match 3 build in App Onboard Studio.